Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and today we have a very interesting video. It's gonna be a life update. No, this video is not clickbait, so keep watching. As you can tell by the title, my future plans in life have completely changed from anything I've told you guys. I'm kind of stressed, but mostly really, really excited for my future and really excited to be able to share it with you guys. So, as you guys know, I was planning on graduating early in December from high school. I'm a senior right now. Then I was gonna move to Utah and that was kind of the plan. I didn't have anything like set. It was just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna move in with my brother. That's the plan. Well, things have changed, as you can tell. <laughs> I went to school seven days this month, literally seven, not an over-exaggeration, but like 60% attendance, maybe less, I don't remember. So not doing so well. And I hate school so much, like with a passion. And not everyone is like me. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are like, no, you're gonna miss out on the high school experience. You need to stay, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure the people who said that had a great high school experience, had lots of fun, awesome friends, went to every football game, went to all the dances, all that. And you know, I do a lot of that too, but I hate high school. Like I genuinely, I wake up and I just, no, it's just not happening for me. And it's not like your typical like teenage, like, oh, I don't like going to school. It's like so annoying. I have to sit in class. Like I literally have two classes and I still hate it. I just don't like the environment there. The vibes that are given off are not good. Like, I don't like it. Not for me. I went and talked to my counselor and she's so nice. She's been helping me so much. Like I ask for so much from her. I'm always changing my schedule and she's so nice. So I'm really thankful for her. I was like, hey, I've been to school seven days this month. And she was like, oh yeah, not the thing you want to tell your counselor. And I was like, yeah, so is there a way that I can just stop coming to school after this quarter? And we talked about it and I only need one more half credit. And the way that my school works is there's four blocks. So you can like double up in classes a lot and you can do online classes. So right now I have two classes in school and one class online. And so I only need one more online class in order to graduate or just one more quarter class in general. Yeah, sorry, that was just my sister-in-law asking something. Anyway, and I was like, oh my gosh, please don't make me go to school. Like, I literally can't. I'm going to miss it all. And she's, like, super supportive of my, like, future plans. Like, I'm not planning on going to college. I'm just living life to the fullest. I'm going to drop all of my in-school classes at quarter and take one online class. And I'm taking world geography, in case you wanted to know. Thought that might be useful. I'm really excited because that means I'll be, I'll still be done with school in December. But I don't have to go to school ever again after next Friday. I have five days left of high school and I could not be more thrilled. Some people, this is like not your cup of tea, like you love school, you wanna go all four years. Some people probably don't even have the option to not go all four years. But for me, this is what's gonna work best for me. Plus, literally ever since I was in middle school, my family loves to travel. I'm really thankful that we always have had the opportunity to travel. And I've been getting a lot of like sponsorships to travel, which I'm really thankful for. And I just always miss so much school. like ever since I was a kid I've been missing a lot of school but it's gotten a lot more this year because of how many like sponsored trips I've been able to go on and stuff which I am so thankful that I've had this opportunity and a lot like a huge thank you to you guys for making this possible for me for making my dreams literally come true I can't even express to you how thankful I am and I feel like I don't express it enough you guys are everything and I love you so much and I don't just mean that as a typical like oh you guys are nice thanks for the followers and stuff but like literally you guys are so nice you always are so supportive especially on my last video i was like crying while editing that and then seeing your guys's comments and out like outlooks on it and that everyone like felt for me that is like unreal i love you i literally love you guys so much anyway aside from getting sentimental real quick i've been emotional the past few days so cut me a break the plan was to move to utah but now i'm moving to new york city <laughs> Which, if you know me, you were probably like, what? Because I've always hated big cities, and the only times I've gone to New York, I hated it. But that was just a visit, and obviously being a tourist somewhere and living there is completely different. So let me just explain the whole thing. Originally, I was going to move to Utah, move in with my brother. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Whatever. And then, a couple months ago, my brother's really good friend Daniel started a management company with this other girl and they signed me on of course since I'm 
siblings with Jordan and he's like in the media department and then they ended up getting me on a trip and then we've been working really well together and now like me and Daniel are like best friends he was in a lot of the Dominican vlogs and so we work so well together and they decided that they wanted to have like a void house and like like a lot of the void people live together and for void to have headquarters and so they were like okay well there's better connections in LA and New York than there is in Utah and once again if you guys know me you're like what why are you not going to LA like LA is your dream place I'm such an L like I've always thought of myself as like an LA girl that sounds so stupid I don't know I just the vibes there are so good I love it every time I go why am I playing with my mascara who knows so we were gonna move to LA and we we're planning everything out literally I was telling everyone like oh January I'm moving to LA I'm so excited and then like a week ago Daniel and Jordan texted me and they're like hey like New York and I was like no New York is not happening that's funny I'm not moving to New York and they were like well we're moving to New York and I was like okay so then they sent me a picture of the house and oh my gosh I cannot wait to show you guys the house I hope that's the house window moving into I'm pretty sure it is but it's so cool and there's for sure gonna be four of us living there I don't know all the details obviously plans could even change completely between now and December or January but from what I hear, these are the plans. They're moving in November 1st, and I think I'm still gonna move in in January, but since I'm doing my online class, I could move in earlier, but I'm not for sure what I wanna do. I might like stay and save money and stuff for a little bit and then move out there. I don't really know what my plans are, but I'm for sure moving out there in January. And like, my house is in Brooklyn. Like I'm in like New York. I'm like kind of scared, but kind of thrilled. I'm like a small little girl moving to New York, like a big city, and it's gonna be a lot. But I'm really excited to be able to have change and be super different because I'm used to like my little town here. It's not like a small town, but it's definitely not a big city. New York is a very big city. <laughs> super excited to be able to like switch things up. And everything's gonna be so different. Like I'm selling my car and I'm just gonna get a subway pass. So I'm gonna like have to take the subway or walk everywhere and that's gonna be super different or Uber, which is fine. And I'm really excited to be able to like switch it up there. I also know it's gonna be really cold in the winters, but also Missouri winters are absolutely terrible because it's so humid out that it like pierces your skin when you go outside But I feel like it's gonna be about the same type of feeling in New York because I don't even know I'm just like Everything is happening so fast and like I'm really excited to see what kind of opportunities come out of this And I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions on why I chose not to go to college personally, I just don't there's no point in going to college for me because anything that i want to do i don't need a degree for even if i stop doing youtube which i never will anything else that i want to do i don't need a degree so there's really no point in going and spending all that money it, like in my head it's like college equals a lot of money for not a lot out of it you No, know, education is important and I love education I believe everyone should get an education and if you want to go to college literally by all means I'm not anti-college like go to college that's awesome I love that for you but for me no thanks I am really excited to just be able to start my life and that's the thing college I feel like is a good in between real life and high school it's like a good in between becoming an adult but I have so many things planned out for me that that would prevent me from being able to do a lot of things I wouldn't be able to travel as much or like just a lot of stuff would be prevented by going to college but for most people college is like the good like next go-to and I totally believe in that like especially if you have no idea what you want to do going to college is obviously a really good backup plan I just I don't want you guys to like attack me about like hating school like it's not that I hate education or that I'm anti-college or anti-school. It's just that I'm over it to a extent that I can't explain. People in high school are not nice. The vibes are not good. There's so much drama. Like, there's really just, no. All my siblings, besides my little stepbrother, Benji, are, they're not in college. They're out of school. They have jobs. They're becoming successful. They're becoming real adults and I'm here like oh yeah I'd love to come on that trip but I have to go to school like that kind of thing and I just I don't know I'm just really ready to step it up and start living life on my own don't get me wrong like big city uh, I don't know also expensive and a lot of things are like really stressing me out a little bit but also really excited 
Another reason I'm really excited about online school is because I have so many good videos, video ideas, but I never have time to film them. Now I literally will have all day so I can get up early, go work out in the morning, and then just film, edit, and everything so it's gonna be really good i'm really excited and i feel like we're gonna be able to bond a lot more because i'm gonna have a lot more time to be able to engage with you guys comment back to you make more videos make videos you guys like like whatever you guys want just at hmu and i hope i explained this well i meant this to be a totally positive vibe video nothing like hating on things although i do think the school edu like the public educational system is a little bit messed up like i shouldn't feel like i want to die to go to school i should feel excited to get an education but i don't so i love you guys so much thank you for all the support i hope you guys can support me on this decision as well i am almost done like i'm grad i'm still graduating i'm not dropping out even though that's kind of what i made it seem like by the clickbait if i titled it what i was going to anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope this was a good update i don't know <laughs> i love you guys so much and stay positive life is great love yourself and i'll see you in the next one bye